the hair's gone on the head, also the face, the chest, and all of here as well. So I am very clean shaved right now. And as you just saw out there, it is raining a lot. It is the rainy season here on Kopangyang Island where I currently live. And I'm gonna close those doors because that background noise is not the best for you to hear me. And that's just something that happens at certain points throughout the year in different parts of Thailand, there's a rainy season and it's going on at the moment. So it's rain, 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 rain. Further it wasn't, but it's like, oh well, it's going on. Can't do anything about it. And if you want to find out why I shaved my hair off today, check out my Instagram and watch my stories because you get a full explanation in those. So if you are not following my Instagram page, then go and check it out now and check out the story. So today I'm gonna to be talking about why I do no cardio or what so ever. And I actually mentioned this recently on Instagram and then some people were asking me why do you not do any cardio whatsoever? So I am gonna be answering that question in full in this video. So make sure you watch it from start to finish. And yeah, I hope this rain stops soon because I actually wanna to go to the gym and I drive a scooter and I'll get absolutely soaking wet. And I just got soaking wet because something that happened was when I left to travel recently to Koh Samui and then Kuala Lumpur, if you did not see my video of my journey to Kuala Lumpur in a day, that I had there with my friend Jin and her son Fofo. Make sure you click the video up above. It was a very enjoyable day and an amazing vlog that I've made and I'm sure that you'd appreciate it as well. And what happened was a few days after being there, I realized, oh no, I left my keys in the scooter at the ferry port because I had to get a boat to then get a flight in Koh Samui. And I panicked a bit and was like, oh no, and I was trying to work out, did I leave it at a hotel, did I leave it somewhere else, I'm not too sure. Then I watched my vlog and I actually filmed myself parking the scooter at the ferry location and saw the keys in the front of my scooter. So I got someone to go and get the keys for me. They left them somewhere around the ferry area. I couldn't find them when I come back. And I was like, oh no, I haven't got a scooter. And it's making me really, really orange. It's really weird that it does that at certain points. And yeah, so what had happened recently, and yeah, those angles for that light, it's not very good. Let's sit down here instead. I'm sure it'll look better here. It's a bit better. Still making me look very, very orange, but that seems to change a little bit, which is good. Still a bit on the orange side. So yeah, I couldn't find my keys when I got back. So for two days, I've been at my house without a scooter. Haven't been out to see anyone because I can't get about at all. But it actually forced me to start cooking at home and making all my food at home, which is really good. So I wanted to start doing this. I wanted to switch to what's known as the IIFYM diet, which is if it fits your macros to actually start a bulking diet. If you don't know what bulking is, bulking is where you're eating a surplus of calories to gain more muscle mass. So when you're in a cut, you do calorie restriction to lose weight. So depending on what your goals are, you'll switch things up. And with it, if it fits your macros, it's like you work out how many calories you need and then how much fat and protein and carbs to help you get the goals that you want with your body. And it doesn't matter what you eat, you can eat whatever you want as long as it fits your macros, which in my opinion is one of the best diets out there because there's so many restrictive diets that say you can't eat this thing and that thing and that thing, this is unhealthy, that, 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 that. But with, if it fits your macros, it removes all those restrictions as long as you stick to the calories that you need and the macros, which is really, really good. And this is why it's normally a diet that is way more easy for people to sustain, especially people that are trying to lose weight rather than doing these extreme diets that can be really hard to sustain. Yeah, and I really wanted to make this video outside, but because it's raining, I can't do it all. I'm trying to make more vlog style videos, but yeah, I can only do the best that I am doing. So yeah, I actually haven't made any of my own food in my own home for, I don't know, a year and a half or so. I've just been eating from restaurants. The only time I've made food at home is like smoothies, but not cooking at all. But now I've started having things such as overnight oats with organic maple syrup in and blueberries, 137 degrees, almond milk that's sweetened with coconut, nectar, and also this stuff as well. 
the light is not going to be so good there making me look a bit orange but yeah this stuff simple organics madagascar vanilla extract the non alcohol extracted one which is just absolutely amazing the flavor the vanilla that it adds and then i also add some protein powder into it to give it even more protein and i'll show you the protein powder i use normally this one actually work this can be if you want a 20 percent discount there'd be a link down below they sell some of the best cleanest fitness nutrition supplements out there so now to the topic of the video why don't i do cardio well i am someone that used to do loads of cardio before i got into calisthenics and wanted to start increasing my muscle mass and yeah when i used to do cardio i was really into cycling especially long distance cycling and i wanted to optimize my cycling sports performance as much as possible so i did my best by training consistently to improve my performance as best I possibly could whilst also dropping my weight as well because if you look at professional cyclists they have a very low body fat percentage and not loads of muscle mass at least for long distance cyclists and then I also got into running as well and yeah when I wanted to transform my body where I went from looking like this to this I knew that I needed to stop doing cardio all together because I I'm a type of person where it's easy for me to lose weight and it actually is more of a challenge for me to actually gain and sustain a weight, especially when it comes to muscle mass or even body fat as well. And if you look into different body types, there's three different types of body types. There's ectomorph, mesomorph, and endomorph. And I am someone that has an ectomorph body type and these people are very well known to find it hard to actually put on weight at least when compared to the other two types of body types more specifically so the main reason why i don't do cardio is when you're doing cardio it's a burning of more calories which then results in you burning more fat and for me, I'm already at a very low body fat percentage. I've got a bit of water retention going on now. I'm actually full of food, still looking pretty lean. The light is not the best either. But as you can see, look, there's not much fat on me at all. And I know that pro bodybuilders, when they're prepping for a show, they would do a cutting diet, which is a type of calorie restriction, a diet to really get their body fat percentage down. And then they would do a lot more cardio and that's not what I'm trying to do at all with this new diet that I'm doing at the moment the IIFYM bulking diet I want to maximize muscle growth as much as possible and I don't need to lean down with my body fat percentage even more so it just makes sense to me to not do cardio whatsoever I do consistent calisthenics on a weekly basis and it's very very intense and it is just yeah not necessary for me to do cardio at least for my own goals if you're someone that is trying to lose more body fat and get down to an optimal body fat percentage or just be down to a very low body fat percentage to be as ripped as possible then sure do cardio but for me it's just not worth it at all and i found many years ago i did get into bodybuilding for a short while i did gain quite a bit of weight and then what happened was I didn't want to do it anymore so then I switched to cardio and within two weeks I stripped off all the weight which is very very fast I'm someone to get actually fat is very very difficult doesn't mean it's impossible if I sat around and hardly done anything whatsoever and just ate loads of garbage food multiple times a day yes I would start to gain a lot of unwanted excess body fat but for me i've always been pretty much active most of my life and yeah using my mind a lot and doing other things that burns a lot of calories so that is also a factor as well yeah genetics can play a role but it's not the only thing oh and i actually want to talk a little bit about the oats that i make so let's go to the fridge to see what we've got going on in here so the maple syrup I use is imported from America. This stuff is divine. This is a keto diet as a worst nightmare. This is so good when added to the oats. And the oats, ah, oh, they're not actually in the fridge. They're actually on the side. 
I thought they were in here, but that's all good. And this lighting, man, one minute I'm orange, then I'm looking like an Oompa Loompa, and then I'm looking like something else. I'm not sure why that's exactly happening, but where are those oats? They're hiding around here somewhere. Ah, here we go. I'll show you over here. So there is the oats. It's only filled up to the top, but I'm actually about to run out of oats. And they're being soaked for many, many, many hours to neutralize the phytates that are in it, which is an anti-nutrient, which is found within nuts, beans, seeds, grains, legumes, and beans. And if you don't know about this anti-nutrient, it makes it way harder to digest those foods, and it stops you from being able to break down the foods to actually absorb the minerals. So a lot of people could be eating things such as pumpkin seeds, not have them soaked, not neutralize the phytates within it, then you're not gonna absorb the zinc. But by actually doing your research up online, different things at the list of foods I just mentioned need different soaking times. Some of them need something added to it that contains phytates to break down the phytates. So that's why I do it this. Makes it way to digest and break down and assimilate. And actually makes it so I can absorb all of the minerals. And I never cook them whatsoever because they're completely soft from being soaked overnight and then until I eat it later in the day. So normally these are being soaked for around 12 hours or so. And yeah, I just added the almond milk to these to neutralize the phytates within it. And yeah, there's just a little side thing that I wanted to add in this video. And you can even take it one step further is with most of the foods I mentioned under the categories that have phytates within them, you then can actually sprout them as well. Which for example, if you were to sprout certain seeds, it has been shown from scientific research to increase the B vitamins anywhere up to like 1000, 2000 or even 3000 percent increase in the B vitamin content within those seeds once they're sprouted and it increases the protein that is within it by around 20%, the nucleic acid by around 20% and the mineral content, I can't remember how much, but very high percentage increase as well. So it's just a win, a win all around. And especially if you have to cook things as well, I do it with my rice, it shortens the cooking time, which is a really good thing because Anything I could do to shorten cooking time, that is absolutely brilliant. So there are the simple reasons why I don't do any cardio. Doesn't mean that I wouldn't do any in the future. And I'm telling you, what happens is if I go out into nature and I can run through nature, naturally, I just wanna run. I love running. It is something that feels so natural to me. And when you're out in nature just running, it completely silences my mind. It's a form of meditation for me and it just makes you feel so at one with nature. It's just really, really, really profound. I was gonna get into ultra running at one point many, many years ago, but I never went down that path. But yeah, running just feels so good to me. It's definitely one of the most natural forms of cardio that we've been doing and swimming is obviously another one as well. Just work out what your goals are, and if you wanna reduce your body fat percentage as much as possible, then start doing cardio with whatever training that you're doing, or you could just do cardio. So yeah, if I was someone that had loads of excess body fat, I'd be doing the type of resistance training that I do with calisthenics, then I'd be doing cardio on a consistent basis. When I was with Janessa, who used to be in my vlogs that lived here with me, I actually used to get her to train with calisthenics every other day, and then on every rest day, it'd be an active rest day where I get her to do cardio on a treadmill for around 30 minutes because she needed to maximize her fat loss results. So yeah, different goals will make you want to switch up things and do things differently. So just be as mindful as you possibly can. And if you're someone that finds it hard to gain weight, then just eliminate the cardio completely. And one quick tip, if you're someone that wants to burn more calories within the day without exercising, get yourself a standing desk. I stand here most hours of the day when I am working and stand and do my work on my laptop. And obviously standing rather than sitting is gonna result in more net calories burnt throughout the day, which will give you greater fat loss benefits, which I'm not doing it for that. I'm just very aware there is a lot of negative 
effects from sitting for long periods of time. If you are not fully aware of this, do your research up online and I'm telling you, it can just make you feel way more amazing actually standing the majority of the time whilst working if your job allows you to do that, which mine obviously does. And you get so many people that are sitting at desk jobs most hours of the day and they're not aware of how bad it is actually for them. And there's actually scientific research out there that shows it can actually have a negative effect on the exercise routines that you are doing. So you could be taking one step forward by training and two steps backward by actually sitting for long periods of time. You could do your research into that. Hmm. Seems the rain is dying down a little bit, not that you can see, but I can hear hardly any rain right now, sort of sprinkling, still enough to get me wet. But yeah, I really wanna train, so I definitely make sure that I get to the gym in a very short while and go and train. Oh, for anyone wondering with this IIFYM diet that I'm doing, yes, I'm still eating intermittent fasting, normally around 16 hours a day, I am fasting and yeah, normally eating for around an eight hour window or so, and actually eating three meals within that eating window. If I need to extend the eating window a bit longer than I'm more happy to, I'm not very strict with it, but I still stick to a minimum of 16 hours of fasting a day because intermittent fasting is so good. I can never see myself going back to having breakfast and just eating all day long like a lot of the bodybuilders out there where they just eat from morning till really late at night. I don't think it's good for your health or longevity and health is my number one priority. So that's it from me in this video. I'm a little bit, mm, what's the word? Not happy that I keep going from really orange to really white looking and all these other different colors. But yeah, there's nothing I could really do about it. When I edit the video, I do my best to make it look as best as possible. So it looks a bit better, but yeah. Just one of those things I have to let go of. <sighs> Life is good. Life is good. And yeah, you can expect to get more videos from me that are definitely higher quality than this. Just like I said, I can only make this indoors and there's only so much uh, that I can do in here. I'm trying to move around, make it as best as possible. If you'd like me to make more vlog style videos or any other types of videos, let me know down below. And I'll make them for you as soon as possible. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below, give us a thumbs up. If you don't, give us a thumbs down. Please share this video with anyone else that you think needs to hear about why I don't do cardio and all the other information and things that I've shared you in this video that may be valuable to someone that you share this video with. If you haven't already, click that subscribe button down below to receive a lot more videos from me on a regular basis. Make sure if you want to be notified when those new videos are uploaded, that you click that bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day on things such as calisthenics and calisthenics progression, workout videos, beginner workout videos, videos on intermittent fasting, dry fasting, weight loss, and many other different videos that can help you go in the direction to gain and maintain the body desired fitness levels and the energy levels that I've managed to and many other people that have followed my information consistently over time. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic, and go get those gains. Peace.